Alright oh, mate, so this is my cool band, Skinny Flex, anything's Skywalker's lightsaber. Um, he was asking me about condition of the chrome in. I have noticed some marks. So there's that one there. I can see it on it is picking up on the camera. There's that one there. And there's another one there. And these are very slight, but they are still noticeable because it's so highly chromed. I think there's another one there as well. Because it's so highly chromed. There's a, quite a few little marks on it that I hadn't even noticed. Because it just sits in my cabinet, and I installed it ages ago, I never really took much notice. Um, but yeah, you can see them there. They are quite apparent. I, I've just tried um, rubbing it to see if it was a scratch or just some other some mark that I could get off, but it is a scratch or two or three or four. Um, I think there's might be a little scratch there. Yeah, it's actually quite sc it's scratched in quite a few places. There's some scratches there. Some scratches there. I think some of these scratches actually from where I've had it stood in my fucking cabinet on my stand and I've pulled it out every now and again to show people or whatever and I've put it back in not very gently. So my activation is actually there and my auxiliary is on the side button. This clamp card I will adjust because it is slightly I think I've done the reverse, it's magnetic. So I think I've got the magnets around the wrong way, so it's sort of, it's not quite in line. And when you push it, it pushes itself back out of line. But I know you're, like you said to me, you're OCD, so. <sighs> Unscrew the pommel. So, probably 1.5. Bluetooth, and I think it's got a wow speaker in it, so it's five watts. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. I will do what I must. So I've customised the first couple of um, fonts on this. So it's got voices on the power on as well. And the power's power off. And it can an OB-1, obviously. Try. Very slightly smooth, smooth swing. Picks it up. This is uh, on the old OS, so the buttons act differently to what they did on the Kylo. So um, yeah, uh, to, uh, I will update the, the OS on it. Um, but yeah, I can't quite remember uh, how to how to do the fucking force push and like the um, lock up. On the other one, you just hold the auxiliary on. Up on this one, you have to hold it and tap it to get the uh, um, lock up. You were the chosen one. You underestimate my power. <laughs> effect with false push mine's gone blank it's so long since i've used this os master skywalker there are too many of them what are we going to do I'm 
just remembered. <laughs> so you um, you hold the power in for a few seconds and release it the same way as you would do with the music. So, but with the blade off. Turn the app on. Remember, mate. Thirty one on there at the moment. I can put more on there, definitely. So, oh, the, the volume's turned on. <laughs> What must be done? Do not hesitate, show no mercy. Um, it's a shame I ain't got a blade. The, the blade effects on this are fucking awesome. They're like animals, and I slaughtered them like animals. So this one's um like a, I think it makes the noise of a broken sabre. <laughs> an unstable Anakin um, so it's got a lot of flicker on the on the blade and it makes the crackling noise it sounds like the speakers fuck but it's not that's the, that's the same supreme way. leader strobe effect you can't really see anything on the, on the blade part. Ray's Lonely Journey by Nova Star the music on the hum. I think it's got points of darkness on this one as well. So it turns to red, I think. Maybe not. Taken from Clone Wars, Age of Battle. So this has got like um ship noise. It's fucking loud. This one. I will find you. 
And I will kill you. So it's dark side Qui Gon. I've got a funny feeling this has got like a a colour changing on the green. plug in it, you can't really see it. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Normal blue. The balance. Darker blue. Light. So I think this is yellow. Okay, it's normal blue. It's a star killer. Um, you can't see the fucking blade effect on this. It's awesome. So it, the... On the um, hum, it's got like rain and lightning and stuff, so it's got like rain effect on the blade. I don't know if you've seen me do this before on some other sabers. Standard uh, puffy ones, I don't do anything to these, I leave them on the colour change and things are already set to. That's about it. Um, apart from the scratches, I mean, it's still a beautiful lightsaber, don't get me wrong. Um, and I'm not put off by the scratches myself, but you OCD, you keep telling me, so it might put you off. I mean, I touch it and you just get fingerprints all over it and that because it's so highly chromed. Um, I don't know if you can buffer these chrome ones out. I I wouldn't attempt it myself. There's loads of videos on there of how to get scratches out on lightsabers and stuff, but it involves wire wall. And I have got a buffer on my Dremel, but just the fact that it's fucking chrome puts me right off trying to get anything out. Um, that's your blade retention right there. The seven chambers version of this, their button here is the wrong fucking colour. So that puts me off that hill. Um, Cause this one is spot on. Um, yeah, I'll upload this and uh, job's a good one. And there's a the box obviously as well it comes with. Um, in the box you got the uh, blank ones are non-vented. And there is the original emitter, because I received this with the emitter. They chromed it too much. You couldn't get a fucking blade in there. And even now, with the new one they sent me, you can get the blade in there, but you have to sand the blade down ever so slightly to get the blade in. So if you have a blade built for this, either you'll need to sand it down yourself if I build your blade, or you'll have to send me the hilt if you want me to, to finish the blade so it fits in here nicely. It's no, no drama really, sanding the blade down, just a bit of sandpaper, sand it down uh, to the where the depth is. This is just a one inch depth on this. Alright. <coughs> Cheers bud. <laughs>